What's up guys, it is Nay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are repping our Zelda shirt and how cool is this? Everyone always asks me where I got this shirt from and I honestly don't even remember. I feel like I might have picked it up from Target in the men's section like a couple years ago. No idea, but it's an awesome shirt. Love wearing it. But in today's video, we are checking out this awesome mini PC screen that I happened to find on Amazon and I thought a lot of people in the gaming community would like to have it in their gaming setup. Now normally screens like this are mounted above the PSU or at the top of the case or in the back of the case. Now I even used to have one in my water cooled build here and it was awesome, loved it. But the only gripe that I had about having this in your PC is that it was always so far when you're sitting at your desk and you're trying to look over and read what was on the screen, it was so hard to read it because the text was so small. So I went on a wild goose chase to find something that I could have at my desk that I could could look down at while I'm gaming and see everything instead of constantly turning and looking. I actually shared a Reels or a TikTok and the moment that I shared it, within like two hours, this was sold out on Amazon. It had over 4,000 clicks I believe when I checked like within those first couple of hours. So a lot of people wanted this and they got it and I even made a little tutorial for socials on how to set it up. But that is why we are here today on YouTube to teach you how to set up all your temps so you can have a really cool display at your desk when you're gaming. So what do you get in the box when you pick this up off of Amazon? You get one HDMI cable, a USB-C cable for power, a microfiber cloth, and of course the display. Now, one thing I do not like about this display is the fact that the ports are on the side and it sucks because when you have it sitting at your desk, docked like this, the cables are coming off from the side and it's it's just not clean. I don't like it. So what we did is we ordered some right connectors off of Amazon for the USB-C and the HDMI cable so that it doesn't protrude as much and it looks a lot cleaner. So if you guys want to pick those up as well, you'll find those in the description as well as the link to this product. Also, one thing to note about the on and off switch, it's not just for turning the display on, but you can also hold it in and that will change the brightness of the screen. Now, the screen is 1920 by 480, which is a small screen, but it's actually very high resolution and it looks great on your desk. There's a few things I really like about this model. The first is the build quality. It's one of the few mini displays I've seen that has a metal enclosure. It really makes it look and feel premium. Even the edges are polished to a high gloss finish and it's just overall a really nice look. So two features that I really like with this display is one, it comes with a kickstand so you can position it any way that you want on your desk for your preferable viewing angle. It also has these really cool speakers on the back. Now, I didn't even realize that it had speakers when I bought this thing. It really surprised me when I was sitting at my desk and I had it plugged in and I was watching a YouTube video and all of a sudden sound just started playing. I was like, what the heck was that? And uh, yeah, they sound pretty decent. Obviously, they're not going to sound amazing, but it's a plus. It has speakers. That's pretty cool. But with that being said, let's talk about some customization because there's a lot of cool themes you can set up on this display. Now, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can do that. But also remember, this technically is a display, so you could use it for more than just temps to display. You could probably use it for your Twitch chat when you're streaming, which I feel like that'd be pretty useful. But if you're going to be using it for temps and stats like we are, the software we are going to be using is Ida64 along with Reaver Tuner. First, let's go to Google and download Ida64. There's a 30 day free trial, or you can use it for free with the watermark. Now go through the installation and after you finish, launch the program. Next, go to file, preference, open up the sensor panel tab, check the top three boxes and hit apply. You'll see the sensor panel pop up, drag it to your secondary monitor display. To customize it, right click on the sensor panel and open up Sensor Panel Manager. Click Import. We'll put a Google Drive link in our bio so you guys can download a bunch of free templates. There's some really cool ones and they're all 1920 by 480, which is the resolution of the mini display we're using today. Now, when you find a template you like, you'll see that it shows up on a secondary display along with a bunch of other stats. Now, things like the GPU and CPU model might show incorrectly and that's because we need to do some customization. Reopen the Sensor Panel Manager and find the text that you want to edit. Here, I'm gonna change the GPU model, which by default, on this template is incorrect. Once you finish customizing things, it should look something like this. You'll be able to monitor all your temps and all your stats in real time, which is really useful for people who do things like overclocking and benchmarking, not to mention it looks super cool on your desk. Now, if you wanna also display your FPS while you're gaming, we're gonna download Reaver Tuner. So go to Google again and download Reaver Tuner, just like we did in the first program. Go through the installation and after 
you finish launch the program. You probably won't see anything pop up, but don't worry. Just go to the system tray and open up the window from there. Make sure the menu looks like this. You can pause the video, but make sure your settings match what's on the screen right now. Also check these boxes in both programs. This will make Ida64 and Reaver Tuner start automatically with Windows, so you don't have to do that every time you boot your PC. And you're done. Now whenever you play a game, you'll be able to see your FPS displayed on your secondary monitor, and it's super cool. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. It wasn't a long video, and I didn't think it really needed to. This was just something that I found on Amazon, and I really wanted to share it with our YouTube community because so many people liked it on social media when I shared it, and it's just really cool to add to your gaming setup. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Is it cool? Yes. And uh, I like cool things on my desk, so if you also like cool things on your desk, this would be cool to pick up. I'll make sure to also leave all the links that, to everything that you saw in the video down in the description if you want to pick it up. But our next video is going to be about the Katana Sound Blaster, so if you want to come by for that video, make sure you do. We'd love to have you here. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we would love to have you a part of our community. With that being said, I'm going to stop talking here and I'll catch you guys later.